Have a small thing. No, you damn business. Oh, oh, oh. Just checking in to let you know how my week went with my eating. I've done really well. I have not had any chocolate. I did have a bit of a naughty night. Um, I had a going out night with some friends and yes, there was just lots of yummy foods. I, I didn't actually overeat. I had one helping of, of dessert, so that was a great thing. And um, But apart from that, all week I've actually been really good. I think I've lost about two kilo. Um, next week I may reveal what weight I started at and how much I've actually lost all up. But I reckon I've lost two kilos in a week, so that's pretty good. So I'm just going to keep chipping away at it, and I'm just going to show you my lovely chocolate bite recipe, and that really keeps my chocolate cravings under control as long as I behave myself. Hey guys, today I'm going to share my very, very favourite chocolate recipe. It is absolutely de delicious, well it's chocolate bites and I thoroughly enjoy them. Um, it's a great alternative to refined sugared chocolates and stuff like that. With anything though, the key is moderation. You know, I try to stick to two a day but let's get real. I'm usually on about five a day or more but um, because I'm starting my new plan and getting rid of the weight, I can't eat as many. So um, yeah, I plan to have five a day and then just cut it back from there because they're just so nice so anyway um the ingredients that i'm using today is rolled oats and rolled oats is a great source of important vitamins and minerals fiber and antioxidants um, coconut sugar is a lower chance of blood spike blood sugar spike small amount of inulin a type of soluble fiber that can make post meal blood sugar spikes less likely uh, works great for me. I do get full of a lot of energy as long as I don't overdo it. Cacao powder, it's packed with flavonoids. These nutrients have been shown to lower blood sugar, sorry, blood pressure. Desiccated coconut, it contains selenium. That's a mineral that helps the body produce enzymes and enhances the immune system. Vanilla essence, pure vanilla essence, has powerful antioxidant properties. Cinnamon, it lowers blood sugar levels. Um, coconut oil, it's an anti-inflammatory. Uh, chia seeds, antioxidants, minerals, fiber, and omega fatty acids, omega-3 fatty acids. So it's it's really quite healthy, but with anything, it really is moderation. So yeah, don't overdo it. Um, but you can enjoy what you like in moderation. So here we go. Okay, we take three quarters, uh, sorry, one and three quarter cups of rolled oats. Kaylee's my special helper while I'm filming this. Let's have a look, Kaylee. Shake some, no, shake some more out. Probably a bit less. A little bit less. And yep. And then half a cup of coconut sugar. And half a cup of cacao powder. You can have a little bit less if you don't like them as chocolatey. Okay, get your spoon and mix it around. A couple of tablespoons of chia seeds. Maybe just one. Oh, yeah, you've got a great big spoon. Okay, yeah, one of those because it's a massive one. <laughs> okay, a couple of sprinkles, good sprinkles of cinnamon. Two capfuls cat of vanilla, oh. natural vanilla as extract. Half a cup of almond butter. Mm. 
and boil your jug and get a cup of coconut oil so one cup of coconut oil we're going to put that into a bowl you can put a stainless steel bowl and then say a, a bigger bowl or something around the side of it we're just using a pan put boiling water into the pan and just let it heat up the bowl and melt the oil okay so we're putting the coconut oil in there the reason it looks a bit brown is because she's mixed spoons with her cacao powder so it was really quite clear mixing it all together right around the sides delicious chocolatey goodness so we're getting our mini patty pans ready. We get ours from Coles. Um, hang on, just turn that around. There. And we're going to sit out about 30, and that way when we put the batter in, each one's worth about 100 calories. Okay, we've got our cookie scoop there. So Kaylee's just going to pop them into the patty tins. Now I like mine extra chocolatey. You can put a little bit more whole grain rolled oats in there. I just do one, one and three quarter cups. But um, you can put up to two cups. But I really like a nice thick chocolate thing under the bottom. okay so Kaylee actually had six patty tins left over she sort of overfilled them a bit but you can just slowly <laughs> put them put them in a wee bit smaller and um, you'll get the 30 patty tins okay so now we're going to get a container and we're going to put them in a container if I want to eat them sooner than later, I just put mine in the freezer and they freeze in probably about 20 to 30 minutes. Then take them out and they're ready to eat. And we've got them in a nice container there. Great snacks for, for all the family. Okay, Grace, show us the chocolatey goodness underneath in the patty tin. Absolutely delicious. <laughs> my one thing this week is to get to the gym more regularly I sort of dropped dropped that a bit this week I was extra busy and I just didn't fit it in but it made up for it because I didn't overeat but yeah I want to get back into that this week so that's my one thing this week and I want to just continue on my sugar free eating plan and a um, refined sugar free eating plan and just keep lots of veggies lots of nice smoothies and stuff in my diet um, I hope that you did really well and that you kept to your one thing and you're feeling a bit better. I'm certainly not feeling as crappy as I was. And remember, consistency compounds, like John Maxwell says. Never give up. If you have a bad day, you know, or even one bad meal, just forget about it and just move along and, um, and learn from your mistakes. We all make mistakes, but, you know, you're only really a failure if you fail to get back up again. So um, keep up the good work. And um, if you like my content, subscribe to my channel, give us a like, press the bell and next week I'm going to be sharing about how I was 45 and pregnant with baby number 10. It wasn't really planned and um, when he was born he was over 11 pounds. So my true life story and I'll see you next week.